Welcome back. This is Chili Davidson back to another video. I'd like to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This channel where we talk about my top stocks. We also talk about dividend stocks for passive income. And we also talk about personal finance. If you're new, please click the subscribe button to get my frequent updates. Well, it's early morning market and we're up about uh, 0.10%. So not even a percent, really. We look at the Robin Hood, you see it's up 0.19%. Uh, not much action going on this morning on a Monday, um, but I did just want to cover the stocks this morning really quickly. Uh, let's scan through and see if anything was really up today. Um, stocks here, you got Google, you got... Uh, CMG Chipotle is flat at zero zero. Uh so pretty flat market this morning. Um not much going there. Um let's take a look at the earnings whisper for the week. Uh for the week, we do have a couple companies reporting. Um Disney does report on the ninth. So Disney reports this week um on the ninth. Um of course, they've been down. They've been struggling. The Disney Corporation, uh, Walt Disney, uh, been trading around the eighty dollars range since Mister Iger's taken over. The stock has slumped. Still, uh, it did you know go to a hundred dollars, but then soon fell back. So the company's still struggling, uh, but they do have earnings report this week on August 9th. Another stock to talk about this week is. Uh, UPS, UPS, um, is right now possibly going on strike. Uh, but they, they do report, uh, I think on the eighth. Okay. So they report on the eighth. Um, and that's tomorrow. Okay. So UPS reports tomorrow on the eighth. Um, that's a good bellwether company to take a look at. They talk about deliveries, how many packages are moving around the United States. And also right now, uh, labor negotiations are going on. Um, the average UPS worker makes about uh, $49 an hour, where they roughly make $99,000 a year. So, uh, uh, well, again, and I put that clause as full-time worker. So that's a pretty good job, okay? But uh, they are possibly striking UPS, one of the number one package delivery services in the United States. And lastly, uh, um. Twilio, Twilio does report tomorrow to say cloud company uh, voice over IP. Uh, they do the backbone for Uber. So uh, voice technology, digital uh, voice technology. They also have some other big clients as well. Uh, but the cloud stock has struggled over the last year uh, since they, they basically operate off future potential profits and, um, they're not quite profitable yet. So Twilio does report tomorrow on August 8th in the afternoon. So those are uh, three stocks to take a look at this week. Uh, UPS, Twilio, and Walt Disney Company. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to my TD Ameritrade account to get the update on the portfolio there. Remember, it is morning time, so the stocks are not moving. Um, we do have some CPI data coming. Okay, here we are in the TD Ameritrade portfolio. As we mentioned, um, we're up only 0.35%. In Robinhood, we're up 0.19%. So nothing happened in the market now. Market is pretty much flat. Um, so uh, the top stock of the morning is Tesla up 0.45%. NVIDIA is up 0.79%. Uh, SoFi, SoFi Technologies up 0.32%. And CWH or Camp World Holdings is up 3.43%. So these are the hot stocks this morning. Remember, this is pre-market. This is not the regular trading market. Uh, a lot of stuff moves around in the pre-market. And the market starts taking direction in the actual market between, um, I think it's 9.30 Eastern and 3.30 Eastern time. Okay, so we're in pre-market. Again, top stock is Tesla, um, NVIDIA up as well, 0.79%, trading at about 450. And SoFi, SoFi is a small cap stock, 
again, led by Anthony Noto, the CEO, uh, moving around this morning. Okay, so that's it. That's what's happening in my portfolio. And like I said, not much different than the Robinhood, up only point um, two four percent. Um, market may be turning positive, but let's take a look at CNBC really quickly and see what's going on there in the futures. Okay, because markets don't open uh for about another hour and a half. Um, <clears throat> okay, the Dow futures is up, the S P futures up, Nasdaq futures up. Oil, oil, uh, barrel oil is down, and 10-year treasury note is up. Um, really quickly on CBC, it says stock futures rise as Wall Street comes off a losing week. Now, I will say uh, in the Robinhood, we are down uh, about $200, um, which is a reflection of the market. Uh, over the last week, we're down $200. And um, and that's basically what happens sometimes. Sometimes the market fluctuates, but we're down over the last week, uh, 90 or so bucks. And uh, same way with the TD Ameritrade, I'm down roughly $2,000 over the last two weeks. Um, you know, basically, you know, the market's been dipping. So that's, you know, the market shifts sometime. It could be temporary, uh, but we could get a rally this week. Uh, so that's about it. Again, stock futures rise as the week uh, starts. And uh, we're coming off a losing week, as you saw in my portfolio. And uh, we'll see what happens. But this is Monday morning. I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and I'll see you on the next video.